Hey there, Despina Barton here alongside Corey Williams, second year head basketball coach here at Stetson. We're inside the Edmond Center to kind of break down what's happening right now. Coach, you've been, you know, practicing for a couple weeks with these guys, but it seems this year you've had a better handle. You weren't thrown in the mix late in the, you know, actually early in the season. You've had some time, a second year with these guys. What is this time period all about right now before the season? Well, it's, it's kind of developing some chemistry, and uh, for us it's laying the foundation down for the future. We want these guys to understand the kind of work ethic we, we desire uh, moving forward and they've done such a good job thus far. Uh, I think the good thing about it is I haven't played a game yet so um, I'm feeling pretty good but you know the effort's been there. We want to create a lot of energy and enthusiasm and uh, we want to establish the passion that we want to play with every day. Is that what we can expect to see? Push the ball down, get those points in transition for you? We want to play an up-tempo ball game. Uh, we want to make sure we get it out and score early and often as possible. But we also want to be balanced, though. We want to make sure we have an inside-outside attack. We want to make sure we're moving the ball and the guys taking quality shots. That's my job to make sure I identify the guys who can shoot in what spots and when they need to take those shots. So uh, we've been addressing that thus far on the offensive end. And, of course, we want to get better defensively as well. You've had a whole off season to kind of get your feet wet with recruiting and uh, summer workouts and such. Can you talk about some of the new key members that might be coming in the mix and who we should keep our eyes out on? Well, we have a, a young man from Alabama, uh, uh, Divine Miracle Miles, uh, a very heady point guard who understands the game and uh, very physical, uh, very low turnover ratio um, and knows how to get people shots in the right, right position. Also, a young, another point guard from the Virgin Islands. Angel Rivera, um, small, but yet crafty and smart. Um, shot 45% from three-point range out of high school. So he understands the game from a, a more mature level. And then we have a guy from California, Grant Lazaria, uh, who I think is one of the, the better shooters I've been fortunate enough to coach. Uh, really has range, uh, knowledge of the game, really, really uh, understands the game uh, from, from that wing position. Then we have an athletic kid from here in, in the state of Florida, Jonathan Joseph, very athletic, uh, plays above the rim, still learning, growing raw in some areas, but uh, uh, certainly has the athletic potential to be a force to be reckoned with at some point in time. He's still learning and developing. Uh, and then we have Cameron Harvey, who redshirted last year and uh, was able to get in our program and understand our system now. He'll be playing this year, and he has a chance to be a, a certainly a significant role player in uh, what we're trying to do and uh, he, he's one of those kids who can really score trying to get him to understand um, how to find people because he has such a scoring mentality um, so he is getting better too as well and then the other post guy that that really has I think uh, blown me away a little bit is uh, Wyatt Sakura he's Cal Sakura younger brother uh, very skilled 6'10 can shoot the basketball very well didn't know he could dribble it as well as he, he has and uh, can get to the basket, uh, play with his back to the basket, can face up, runs the floor like a deer. Uh, he's one of those guys, I think, when it's all said and done, uh, he'll be a force to be reckoned with as well. So I'm excited about our young, young, young core guys, Corey Mendez, uh, Kevin uh, the Hero, also from Rwanda. Uh, so we have uh, some freshmen that I think in time are going to be excellent basketball player, but it will take some time and they have to continue to learn and continue to grow and certainly continue to play hard at all times. And that's my job to make sure they do that. And they've been doing that thus far. So I'm excited about the group. Um, now we just have to put it all together. Very prideful first class for you, I see. Yes. Uh, unlike the first class I got, I had to um, find them quickly and try to get them here. I've had some time to kind of survey and look and get the guys that fit my personality and fit my style of play. And these guys fit our style of play. And, uh, you know, we got a long way to go, but I'm excited about these young guys. For you, Coach, you had that first year, got your feet wet. How is that installation process coming in? Are the guys starting to click a little bit better? And I'm assuming you two spending your second year here at Stetson, things are coming a little bit easier? I, I, I would say so. Um, um, I'm learning the program, the university as well. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm getting the guys that fits me. You know, when I first got here, I had guys that had been coached by three different coaches. And so I was their third coach. So uh, uh, they had a lot of other coaches' mentality in their system that I had to try to draw from and, and get out what I didn't like and keep what I liked. Uh, but these guys, the guys I, I handpicked myself, and um, they, they fit my genre, and they fit my personality, and hopefully they reflect that when we play. What are you most excited about here for your second season? 
Well, just building on what we did last year and uh, establishing, um, you know, uh, a basketball program that, that desire excellence and uh, a competitive edge and that spirit that, that, that Harris need to have. Um, I think the young guys are enthusiastic, um, blending in with a guy like Kentuan Smith, who is a senior this year, who uh, last year averaged uh, 10 points a game, and uh, Brian Pegg and Kyle Sikora. So they're able to, and BJ Glass, they're able to come in with a group of guys that, that understand my system a little bit. And, and just kind of grow. I want them to grow and mature. I want to allow them to make mistakes and, and play. Um, but at, 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 at times I'll be a little hard on them, but i also be encouraging, put my arm around them and show them the support and love that they need. But I'm excited about, about just being here and um, the opportunity uh, to make change. You obviously bring with you a winning mentality. Yeah. Um, you coach many years, but your you know your rookie season in the NBA, yeah. you got to spend that with the Chicago Bulls and win the NBA championship. Um, I was told by a little birdie that you had an awesome nickname that <laughs> year. Uh, can you tell me about that? Well, my nickname was Pee Wee, and <laughs> uh, it was a guy. It was a heckler um, that attended the Washington Wizards basketball game, and, and I was on the bench, of course, at the time, and he started chanting out, Pee Wee Williams, Pee Wee Williams. And uh, that wasn't a bad part. It was only when Phil Jackson, the head coach, looked down the bench and he said, Pee Wee, get in the basketball game. From that point on, it stuck. And uh, I was known as Pee Wee. So uh, I guess I should be proud of the name because it was with the Chicago Bulls. But um, Certainly, it, 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 people call me that to this day. Whatever Phil Jackson says goes, right? Yes, and it was interesting. I saw Michael Jordan about three years ago, and he looked, he stood up, he said, Pee Wee! And uh, so the name is still there. But uh, I think when Michael Jordan calls you Pee Wee, it's a good thing. You're safe, you're safe. That's exactly right. <laughs> well, since then, you know, you always knew you wanted to be a coach, you know, playing in high school, college, and the pros all over. How did that first, you know, how did that fire first begin with you, that coaching desire? Well, you know, I played, and uh, I think the best thing for basketball players, the, other, the, 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 the next best alternative is to coach. And uh, I certainly knew when my basketball career was over that I wanted to be a basketball coach. And, and uh, once I got through playing overseas, I made a phone call and to a guy by the name of Eddie Sutton, who was in the Hall of Fame, and he had a job open at Oral Roberts with his son. He asked me would I be interested in the job. I told him that absolutely I would. And, the rest is history. So uh, I knew I wanted to coach at some point. I didn't know when. And uh, once I felt like my basketball career was over with, I wanted to get involved. Well, we're glad you, you're here with us at Stetson. I'm joined Corey Williams, head coach of the men's basketball program. He took a few minutes out of his busy, busy day to sit down with us. So we thank you so much for thank that, you Coach. Thank you for having me and go Hatter. Absolutely, go Hatter.